Hey everybody, we're playing some Pokemon. Um, it's actually been a, a little while. I caught that shiny Staryu, and then I had to take like a couple weeks to like do school, and I literally just didn't have any time, but we're back. Um, and I did level Staryu a little bit in between, so uh, Staryu is level like 40 something now. Still haven't evolved because I don't have a water stone. Um, that's kind of how the Pokemon are looking right now. I'm just going to have Staryu up front. There's a couple of things that I'm still trying to evolve. Um, so we went a little forward here so we can get to that Staryu and get the good rod, but we still haven't done... Oh, excuse me. Azure Bay. So this is what we're doing right, right now. But um, there is a couple Pokemon that I need to catch here. By couple, I mean Remoraid and Chinchu. I think those are the two that I don't... Or Clam Pearl? Wait, do I have Clam Pearl? How do I not have Clam Pearl? Did I not go back to catch things? Is it, oh, did I just get the good rod? Okay, well, I guess it doesn't matter anyway, either way. Um, <clears throat> just go ahead and throw... I totally didn't realize this was going to be here, so... That's a surprise. I'll take a Clam Pearl. What, what I was looking for was a Remoraid and a Chinchu. Um... But, I mean, I'll, I'll, t I'll take a Clam Pearl here. Um, okay, let's throw an Ultra Ball. If this Ultra Ball doesn't catch it, I'll probably hurt it a little bit. Try to make it a little easier, but I'm hoping it can just behave. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I was hoping it could just behave. That makes everything much, much easier. Okay. Well, real quick. Um, what can I find here? Oh, Clam Pearl and Remoraid, and then where we're going next, I can find Remoraid and Chinchu. So this is actually the only Pokemon I need from Route 8, so that's good. When it evolves, it makes a mysterious pearl that amplifies psychic powers when it's held. Okay. Um, I know Clam Pearl evolves into two different things, doesn't it? Um, but you know what? It's all right. When we get have to get that second evolution, I'll probably just end up coming back and grabbing another clam pearl because um yeah i i don't know what how it evolves yes that's fine <clears throat> i'll come and grab another one later or just breed one i'll probably just end up doing that actually but so we came over here um on axe i swam all the way here from the oceans of hoenn and i'm still not too tired for battle i don't know what we did and didn't do over here i don't think we did much again we kind of just like swam over and then swam back because i realized that this is not the place i wanted to be as of right now and this is actually our first time fighting with staryu here so let's go see how staryu does let's go to use power jam i don't is that gonna be strong okay good and obviously i do want to be using staryu for um a while as like my main pokemon obviously there's a, a reason i hunted it religiously for um a solid like 10 15 hours i oh no man so close yeah like i hunted the starmie down if you guys didn't watch last episode i think i got um eight or nine shiny clunchers looking for this one so definitely a little unlucky but in honestly none of it matters we got it and that's the important part um but that shows you how hard i looked for it that i ended up getting like nine other shinies just looking for this one so i feel like we're gonna be using power gem a lot here um Let's see, can Pokemon X Water Stone? Can I like find one now so I could don't Um Oh Hold on, it can be found on Route 12. I'm on Route 12. What do you mean? Oh lord, I literally just passed one. Okay, never mind. We don't need to wait much longer. Okay, I'm about to use a repel for real. I don't know. Does a repel stop me from fishing? But yeah, I like Staryu, and actually, in a sense, I prefer Staryu's color palette to Shiny Starmies. But I need myself a strong Pokemon. 
So, uh, Mantike, we caught a Mantike already. I'm like 99% sure of it. Right? Yeah, we did catch a Mantike, okay. I remember, actually, no, I remember now because Mantike was the one that I got really, really angry at for a little while there. Hey, that's exactly, so we we're literally right in the right place to get it, which is absolutely wonderful. Let's go ahead and grab that water stone. And let's go ahead and get our uh, our purple uh, Pokemon here. The one that we wanted. Ooh, I forgot I need to press the A button. So I will miss the white star you with the blue center. Um, again, I don't prefer star me's pal color palette, but um, it's a shine either way. And honestly, it is cool. It's more of like a blue, you know? It's still blue and it's got the little red outline, so. Let me say it this way, nowhere near the worst shiny, like, n actually it's probably in the top tier of shit, like, it's one of the better shinies, um, but Star Use is like, or Star, yeah, Star Use is like, on a different level. Oh, okay. But, cool, now we got ourselves a Star Me. Um, let's see how it looks in battle. Also, I'm definitely gonna use a repeller because I don't need to see any more tentacle. That's pretty sick. Yeah, no complaints. Very, very, very cool. Again, if the Starmie was white or black, now that would be like... We wouldn't ever need another shiny in the game, to be real. Okay, now the other question is, where are my repels? Are they here? Super repel. Okay, let's go and do that. Yes, because I, do, I don't need any more um, pentacool. Let's just go ahead and get up on this Azure Bay. I think I fought this guy, right? Yeah. That's the one that we accidentally had to fight. Okay, and there's a couple of trainers. What we could do, though, is quickly grab the Pokemon that we need. So now that we're... Oh, I still... Man, that's part of the reason why I took... Sorry you was finding so long, is I actually kind of suck at reeling these... I actually do suck at reeling these in. I tend to miss them quite a Like, you need to go... You need to do it pretty fast. Like, surprisingly fast. Um, so, yeah. I, it's actually kind of difficult. But there we go. That is what we actually needed. And that's the 30%. So, that's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and um, we'll do the same thing. I don't really feel like hurting these things. Let's just throw a ball. Hopefully, it behaves. We can, you know, call it a day here. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Very good. Thank you, Chinchou. Chinchou, Chinchou, Chinchou. Chinchou. Very good. On the dark ocean floor, its only means of communication is its constant flashing. Alright, so now we need the actual non-rare Pokemon, which is the Remoraid. Also, I'm like totally going to sneeze. Hopefully I can sneeze. Okay, there we go. Whew. Remoraid? Okay. Bless me. Okay. We already got you, Chinchou. Go away. I'm looking for your uh, lame buddy. The Remoraid. Let me get let me get that Remoraid, por favor. Hopefully a shiny Remoraid. Ah, there we go. Alright, oh. Considering it was a 70%, yeah. I was hoping it wouldn't take too long here. Alright, we'll do the classic. Um, no, I'll just throw a normal Pokeball. We need to get rid of these anyway. Let's go ahead and get rid of them. Okay, maybe not. I wonder if I should, like, almost put false swipe on somebody. Maybe I can put false swipe on Greninja. You start, start me as my battler, Greninja is like my, uh, false swiper. That could be a thing we do. Maybe I'll do it right after this. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and switch it up to, uh, what's my other netball? Let's go ahead and throw a netball at it. It'll increase the chance at least a little bit. Don't be a butthead, please. Alright, there we go. Alright, cool. Remoraid Raid was caught. Alright, so that, those are really the only, like, uh, thingies that I needed here. 
Um. Okay, so this it's super accuracy. The water can shoot and strike prey from over 300 feet away. The place we're going is actually nothing we need. It's like the Zubat cave in the other game. Um, no matter how much we fish, the ocean stays blue. So does the ground never change no matter how much we battle? We're just heading over to a cave where we can meet legendary Pokemon, but <clears throat> the, they're not going to be there. So I'm going to get there for the sake of completion of the game, but we really are heading towards nowhere right now. Um, which is funny because it's like such a different, you know, last episode was super exciting. We got the shiny. This episode, we're heading to a place that we know doesn't matter. Very uh, big change in tone as far as the excitement of the videos here, but um, ooh, a Carvana. I haven't seen one of those just yet. That's pretty cool. Maybe I can hopefully get my hands on one of those eventually. Nice. Do feet. Oh, I just need your money, bud. Give me your monies. Do you have the Mega Ring? Is that what the stone is reacting to? I see. Then you should take this with you. <clears throat> okay, we can Mega Ampharos. If Corinna and the Mega... I'm sure you can... Yes, thank you. Okay, real quickly. Let me go ahead and... Um, is there like a big map? Also, let me take a look at the items. Okay, I don't care. I'll find the items. Okay, I was trying to find like a bigger map of what this whole thing looks like. Is it just like... Because I don't want to use my... Waste my repel. And I do want to like fight everyone here. Now that I'm grown, I'm finally, finally be able to swim. There's nothing out here that frightens me. Bro. Swimmer I uh, Isla. There's still a lot of scary things, dude. I mean, you could just straight up just be chilling and then like a Gyarados pops up. Like, I don't... Yeah, I wouldn't just like not be scared. That is a scary place, bud. Alright, let's see. Who we got, though? What? Oh, I didn't kill it. Okay, I wasn't. I was looking away for. I'm like, what in the world did it just do? All right, Corsola. Regional Pokemon Go. Pretty cool. And turn. Oh, we just got a Chinchu, Chinchou. All right, we'll power gem yo. Yeah. Okay, I could probably kill it with Surf, but it's fine. I'd rather maybe just use a rock gem uh, move first. Actually, you kind of frighten me. Oh, you only have four. I should frighten you. You only have four hundred dollars on you. What'd you do with all your money? Oh, see, what we want to do is head down. And I don't have any more repels, so it's going to be a little bit of a struggle here. Um, a little bit of a struggle bus, but that's alright. We need to go down. Because we need to get to, like, a little island below us. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle bus because... You know, at least with, like, routes, there's grass and you just avoid the grass. But when you're traveling across water, every single pixel is space to get caught, so... Um, little, little frustrating, but it's okay. And I also don't think there's any new Pokemon here either that are like super fun to catch. So um, I think we're gonna head up, head up into into some grass in a minute. There's actually nothing. I'm there's grass here, but I don't really like actually need anything from the grass. Um, like a Chad Tot. I'm pretty sure I, ever, I already have a Chad Tot. Again, it's a little weird because it's been a little while since I played last, so I'm like trying to rack my brain around what we did and didn't catch already. And I have a pretty good idea, considering I played the game. I'm not like dumb, but um, definitely like you know, I'm like trying to like deep, smooth, like wrinkle brain this, trying to remember. I also really should have bought some repels. I feel like this is gonna. Um, cause me some trouble. And I like, go to the side here. Right, there's another item. Oh, uh, why you gotta? Why you do this? So, also, 
I'm pretty sure... Does Stormy have an ability that we encounter more things? <clears throat> let me... Okay, let me check Starry... Starmy... Raises the likelihood of meeting wild Pokemon, so... We're actually kind of being screwed by Starmy here a little bit. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna... We need, we need to evolve some things anyway. No, you know what? Let's go ahead and switch in. Just so maybe we can meet a couple of less things, because this is going to get real annoying very quickly here. Um, so... I think there's a third item here. Yeah. Alright, move on. Exazor. Okay. And if we need to meet anything, we'll put Starmie back on. But right now, we do not need... I, and I, I thought Star, Starmie had a, that ability. I'm like, eh, I'm meeting things a little too much here. What's going on here, bud? Okay, so if I go up... I don't... Why? I'm very confused, but it's okay. Oh, I think it's just... No. Okay, well, we'll see. I'm on a little map. Just kind of tell me what's where. I'm a little confused on what some of the... Wait, can I, like, walk? Hey, yo, I can walk. I thought I would be able to. Alright, we got ourselves a dive ball. So now, the question is... Yeah, I was wondering what is that number. I think it's a trainer battle, actually. Is that a sky battle or water battle? Can I talk to you, bud? Hello? Yeah, I don't know what to do with you. You're creeping me out. You're kind of just standing there, but fair enough, I guess. Alright, well, let's keep moving around. <laughs> um... Yeah, so there's a middle island, which is probably where we should be going right now. Let's go ahead and go towards the middle island. What I'm going for. Kind of cool. Also, I should definitely uh, test out that uh, wonder trading feature um, to see if I can maybe give away my shining clonchers, but we'll probably end up doing that later. Wait, did I miss it? Yes, okay, the island's in here. Okay, so on the back here should be an item. Splash plate. I don't know... Wait, what item does Starmie have? Item... Take... Okay, the lucky egg, yes. Uh, Starmie does not need the lucky egg. What Starmie does need... Mm, that could be good. You know what? Maybe I will just leave the lucky egg on it, just so, you know, we can get Starmie up levels quicker. I was thinking, I was looking at all the items, and I'm like, yeah, there's actually, um, not anything much better, so. And then this is the spirit, uh, spirit den cave thingy. Is there any Pokemon in here? Nope, it's literally, there's not even any wild encounters. There is nothing in here. And I don't know when stuff will spawn, but it'll spawn there eventually. So, um, I guess we'll be back... Um, whenever I actually have to do something there, probably. Um, but there is one more item we could have to go get, and I think we also have, um, another battle, maybe? Oh, okay. Um, so it should be, should be another little island over here. Oh, nope, okay, there's actually a little bit more, um, for you guys, like, that way. That was a little bit of a struggle there, but we got it. Big Pearl. Okay, we can sell that for some sh money. I'll take money any day of the week. We need to fund our Pokeball addiction. I just love them so much. Okay. How do I fight you? I want to fight you. Why? Do I need to be flying? I probably need to come back and, like, fly or something, don't I? 
Okay. Well, then as far as this, that's really all that's here? So... I guess... We're kind of done here, right? We go to uh, Comor City. Then we go to Route 13. Yeah. Okay. Then let's head back and let's go to Route 13. Now let's go ahead and uh, buy some max repels here. Um. Whew, I ran down to do laundry. I'm out of breath. Um. Okay, he sells cool balls, but I don't have any money left, so... Um, do I need to switch out anything? I don't think so. I think we're good. So, with me completely out of breath, we can go ahead and move on to Route 13, but real quick. Sit. Do you know... I think that... I already talked to these guys, didn't I? So I think we're good. All right, so we're looking for a few, actually, ooh, we get some new Rock Smash Pokemon. So we have, we have Doug Geo, Trap Inch, Gibble, Graveler, Slugma, and that's actually it. All right, then let's go ahead and do this. See, so yeah, if we find these little rock piles, that's where we're able to find Pokemon. And I have came here and trained actually quite a bit, but we haven't actually caught any of them because, of course, I wanted to do it on camera. Okay, I very much killed that trap inch, so um, that's not particularly cool. Okay, let's go ahead and also switch Starmie back into the main spot here, just because I don't get wild encounters here. They're actually like rock encounters, so... Um, it don't particularly matter. Let's see if we can maybe get a Pokemon here. Alright, Doug Drio. I don't... Do I even have... I don't know... Okay. Will a Swift kill it? That's my question. Swift is pretty weak. And a crit. Okay, um... Starmie? <laughs> to 44. I didn't particularly want you to just destroy that Dugdrio, but that's okay. Alright, there's a lot of thingies. Alright, a PP up. Ooh, that might be good to put on Surf for Starmie. Also, hold up. Might wanna go down there. Whoa, okay, well, I'm now down here. There's a lot of things. Okay, we can go ahead and try this again. Um, right, let's go ahead and throw one Ultra Ball just to see. Just to maybe see if it'll just be good, well behaved. Okay, that is not the case. Um, let's try swifting it again, and maybe we won't kill it this time. That is a possibility. Okay, perfect. That's actually exactly where I needed it. Um, now we can... Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, I want to use a normal Pokeball here. Just so we don't waste the good things. Alright, there we go. Bonk. We got ourselves the Dugdrio. Again, I don't know if I have the smaller one. In battle, it digs through the ground and strikes the unsuspecting froze. Reading is um not a skill I clearly possess. Um man, I should have got that on the way up. Oh, hello? Alright, I was totally trying to hit that scientist, but I'll take a rock instead. Actually, I will not take the rock instead, because I already have you, Doug Geo. Just caught you. Oh, okay, fine. Then we, you shall be brined. Not my choice, it was your choice. 
Those Team Flair people in those red suits, nobody who's worth anything hangs out with a group wearing garnish outfits like that. Okay. Let's see, what do we got? Another Doug Drill. Let's see, now, will this one let me escape? Or do all of them have that arena trap? Ah, you butt cheek. Alright, well then I'll just have to kill every single one of you that I come across. Not what I want to do, but hey. It is what it is, I guess, right? Okay. What are you doing here? I'm a member of the stylish Team Flair, and I'm gonna win in style. Alright. Alright. Houndoom. Those are pretty cool. I like Shiny Houndoom. Shiny Houndoom is a uh, cool looking Pokemon for sure. Alright, we could. We'll definitely kill it with a Brine, so we can just go ahead and do that. A Surf would be a little overkill for Houndoom here. Golbat. Ah, uh, Golbat. Flying Poison. Let's just use a Surf. I could probably use a Rock Gem, but it wouldn't be super effective, and I just need to hit it with something strong, so that works. You may have beaten me again and again, but like I always say, when I lose, I go out in style. Just give me more money next time. And now I'll stylishly run away. Huh? Where's my power plant pass? Oh no, did I drop my power plant pass somewhere? I know what to do. I'll make a stylish deduction. I must have dropped it when I was feeling around that boulder nine steps east of here where I'm standing. If only I had a dowsing machine that I could that I could find it with style. Okay. Interesting. Um Where is it? Wait, okay, let me get on my Come on, dude, just let me Is it here? Where actually is it? Oh, it's probably... Hold on, he said east. East is this way. Or I could also use the dowsing machine, or I could just feel around like a... funny guy. Alright, we'll use the stupid dowsing machine. Where is it at? Oh, okay. But now, before we go to the power plant, I do want to check out the rest of this area. So we will not go there just yet. Alright, can I put the machine away? I, I no longer want it out, please. Thank you. Okay, so, um, can I, like, jump on this? Skirt! Does this take me to an item? Indeed it does. What are you? Ooh, a sunstone. Definitely gonna need one of those. For something eventually, so not not mad about that at all. Okay, and there's a few more places we have to check out before we actually go to the um, power plant. Gimbal, hey, that's one of the, that's the rare, technically the rare spawn here. So that is definitely something that we need. And just to make it cool, let's go ahead and throw it in a Premier Ball. I really do like Garchomp quite a bit. Um... Okay, that did not work in the slightest, okay. Alright, my accuracy has also dropped. Oh, you're Gibble, you're gonna make this real annoying, aren't you, bud? Okay, well then hopefully we can just catch it quickly in an Ultra Ball. Or I might have to switch into a weaker Pokemon because Gibble is gonna be a hassle. Oh, Gibble, you... You piece of poop. 
I'm gonna buff it with the stupid standstorm, whatever. But the level one Gibble could take me out right now because I'm just gonna keep throwing balls at it. I also don't have any more money, so I should probably not be throwing these so carelessly. All right, yeah, we got, we got, we got it. This is so annoying. Okay. Can I even switch out? Is that a thing I can do? What is it, 26? I could probably bring out Ducklet. I can't be switched out. Okay. Well, then... Let's keep throwing the Ultra Bulb and just... I guess holding our breath here. Uh, come on. Don't... Don't make me. Instead of a kill star me. Just trying to catch you. Thank the Lord. Alright, I'm still I'm still hurt by that sand that sand sand tomb. Come on, man. I, it, these are this is a lot of money. Bro. Am I still hurt by sands? Alright, I was freed. Now can I switch out? Alright, there we go. Hopefully Ducklet can do a little bit of damage here. And hopefully just doesn't get killed instantly. Alright, um, let's hit it with a water pulse here. Okay, it's in the yellow. Good. Alright, well Ducklet also now cannot leave. Alright, please stay in an Ultra Ball now. I've already wasted like over like just like six thousand dollars on this gibble, but oh lordy, why do just just stay in the ball? Come on, this give this gibble is causing me some trouble. All right. Thank you, thank you so much. The it was getting a little old there, you know. Gibble was added to the data. It nests in horizontal holes warmed by geothermal heat. Foes who get too close can expect to be pounced and bitten. I would love to be pounced and bitten. All right, we need we need ourselves a little bit of that good stuff. I need a potion. Oh, I'm like in, totally in the wrong place. All right, hyper potion, Starmy. Get healed. Okay. What am I even looking for? Okay, I gotta head like over here. Okay, and I need to kind of go back around because I missed a few items there. Alright, Trap Inch. I think is... One of the last ones we need to catch. So we do need to do some rock smashing in a minute. Alright, I'm hoping, once again, we'll do the same thing. Let's do an Ultra Ball, see what happens, and um... Maybe it'll be nice? Look at that, Trap Inch well-behaved, you know. We throw a ball, it stays in the ball, we call it a day. It lives in arid deserts. It makes a sloping pit trap in sand where it awaits prey. Very cool, trap inch. Very cool. Let's go and do some skirt. And then we want to do a little skirt. And then we want to smash this rock. Oh, we don't have any old rock smash. Please tell me I can have some. Alright, cool. Litleo was able to learn it. Thank you. I was about to get scared that I didn't have any old that would be able to do it. Which move? Lear can be forgotten. That's fine. Alright, there we go. Thank you, Litleo, for your um, generosity. Alright, now I'm going to have my lion break a whole rock. For fun. 
and I got ourselves a heart scale. Very epic. Alright, we should be able to run all the way up. Surprised there wasn't an item in that one. Got ourselves charge beam. I don't know if that's any good. That might actually be something we can maybe put on Starmie. Let's see. Um, I'm just looking at other things while I'm at it. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm surprised Starmie can't learn that. It's an electric move. I was able to teach like thunder or uh, lightning to Starmie earlier in the other game. Okay, so hold on. We got that item. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're all good here, actually. Wait, nope, psych. Ooh, there's one more item we can get down over here. As long as we don't prematurely jump. Yeah, I need to... Actually, I need to get a few Pokemon from the Smashes, too, so... If you could give me a Pokemon? That would also be pretty wonderful, actually. Nope, okay. Well, then we will definitely have to find some rocks that we have to smash here. Now that we can kind of just script that. And I'm going to be hitting these rocks, although I don't really need them. I mean, hey, if I can get, like, a shiny gibble, I'll take a shiny gibble. Um, to be fair, though, if I did get a shiny gibble, it would be no different from a normal gibble. So, would it be really that cool? Probably not. There's a lot of these rocks. Do, do the rock spawns increase if I have Starmie on? I know, again, the normal wild encounters increase in, like, grass and water. I wonder if that applies to the rocks. Oh, I can't escape you, butt cheek. Alright, well, you're gonna get brined. So, there's actually not much to do. I just need to get a couple of things on the right side, and... We're gonna be kind of good to go here. Alright, level 45 on Starmie. Okay, so if we... Oh, these things are everywhere. Alright. Another little Doug Rio. Little heads popping out. I don't really need you. You can go away. Oh, you guys all have arena traps. Well, hey. I guess I really shouldn't be complaining about just, like, some free XP. You know, like, yeah, sure, you make me get some XP. Not the worst thing on the planet. Okay, a little metal bridge. Okay, so I can't get in from there. But I can get this flame plate, which is kind of cool. So I wonder what was the point of having this here, if I can't get... It's probably an exit. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, well then, I need... To go up here, is this another exit? Yeah, so it's probably another exit. This is probably the same story here, right? Yep. But just double checking. Okay. Oh. Alright, well. Had no choice but to encounter this one. Shiny Flygon's kind of cool. I don't know if I have a Shiny Flygon in Pokemon Go. I know I've seen it before. I ain't about to get brined. Another one that won't let me leave. You get what you deserve. Alright, we gotta run all the way around town here. I'm gonna juke you out, bud. Alright, and that should be actually all the items for this area. Yeah. Now, I do need to do a few rock smashes to get some of the Pokemon that I missed. Oh, no. Alright, right here. Gimme. I need a Slugma and a Graveler. And a Pearl. No Pokemon. Why no Pokemon? I need a Pokemon. Here we go. 
Alright, we got ourselves a Slugma. Do I already have a Geodude? That's my question. I forgot if I already caught a Geodude. Either way, it's still an Ultra Ball. Have we encountered a Geodude in the game thus far? Oh, critical catch. Here we go. The common sight in volcanic areas slowly slithers around in constant search for warm places. Alright, so now we just need to do that again and find ourselves a little graveler. And is there any, like, rocks over here that I can smash? Get juked. Go! Graveler, finally! Alright, last Pokemon we need to get before we can enter the power plant. Clauncher. Let's go ahead and switch you out. I don't particularly feel like having Clauncher die now because... I do need to get an XP and stuff, so if it dies now, that would be pretty mega sad, for real. Okay, magnitude 8. That's a pretty big magnitude there, Graveler. I don't appreciate that. But I'm gonna forgive you because I'm about to enslave you, so that's alright. I forgive you. One. Two. Is he tapping? Three. He's tapping. Cool. I'm gonna stay down there, by the way. Alright, cool. Graveler was added to the Pokedex. With the free and uncaring nature, doesn't mind if pieces break off of it while it rolls around in the mountains. That's pretty weird, Graveler. You should probably care if things are falling off of your body. Seems like that's not a very good habit to have, though, but... Anyways... Next episode, we're going to go ahead and answer the power plant. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and save, and I'm going to do something else, because I got really tired in 50 minutes. That was kind of nuts.